Hello. In this video, we'll look at some examples of 2D lists, or lists of lists. Lots of real-world problems require information to be stored in the form of a grid. Simulating board games, for example. Or storing images. So that's the big picture here. In this lesson, we're going to focus on grids of numbers. In Python, a really convenient way to store a grid of numbers is as a list of lists. Now, the use of white space here is mostly to make things easier to read. Technically, Python would let us just squish everything together, but it's harder to see the underlying grid here. So when you have a list of lists like this, it's nice to try to space things out. Now that we have our list of lists, we can access one of the one-dimensional lists using an index, the same way we access anything in a list. When we run this program, what we see is the zeroth list in our list of lists. We go to index 0 in my grid, and what we find is a list that contains negative 3, 2, 0, etc. We can use another set of square brackets to be even more specific. If we want to access a particular integer, we need to first specify which list it is in, and then specify where it is in that list. In this example, we are getting the list at index 0, and within that list, we are getting the integer at index 1. Here, we're taking the list at index 3, and then the number at index 4 within that list. We can use slices with 2D lists, and they work in the same way as with 1D lists. In this example, we take the list at index 3, and then we take a slice in that list, starting at index 4. We can also just take a slice of the whole grid. In this case, we take all the things up to but not including index 2 in our grid. This results in a list of lists that is smaller than our original list of lists. Let's look at another way to create a list of lists. We can start out with an empty list. We can then append lists to it. You can also write a for loop over a grid in order to print out each 1D list individually. And then finally, you can write a doubly nested for loop in order to print out each number individually. Let's explore a few ways to make an 8x8 eight eight grid of all zeros. So first, there's the simple way, which is just to say, all right, 8 zeros, there's my first list, 8 more zeros, there's my second list. All right, so this is taking a while. This is kind of a pain. Turns out there's actually a cleverer way to do this, and it has to do with a way that Python provides of making a one-dimensional list that contains all the same thing. So I can actually say my list equals either eight zeros like this, or I can just take a list with one zero in it and multiply it by eight using the multiplication operator. And what this means is take the thing in this list and give me eight of them in a list instead of just one. Now if I print this, there's my list of eight zeros. Okay, so now I can say my grid is the empty list, and I'm just gonna write a for loop and append eight of these lists of eight zeros. So for i in range eight, my grid append list of zero times eight. And now instead of just printing my grid, I'm actually going to write a for loop over it to print each 1D list individually. For i in range len my grid, print my grid at i. So len of my grid should be 8 at this point. It has 8 lists in it. And each thing in my grid is itself a list of 8 zeros. So we should see 8 lines printed, each of which is a list of 8 zeros. See if that's true. Yep, there they are. It looks kind of like a grid.